What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, heading on over to the coal mine. Can I take the truck still? I can. Glad I looked. Otherwise, it would have been a long ride. Well, long run, I guess. Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Man, the handling on this thing is not, not good. I know y'all always like to crack jokes about how bad I am at driving, but I'm trying really hard, and this car is, is about as janky as they get. Oh my god. That's it. And I don't know. Got a checkpoint. This felt like I was supposed to stop here. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G Man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass, not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now, because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Um, better know he's okay. Probably a manuscript page in here. Oh! Mm. I'm awake, you can do it. Vermont, spying on the writer on the ferry has been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake out to be something special, but Mott hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look up the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Mott had fantasized about goading Wake. I wonder if Mott's the, uh, kidnapper. Visitor parking. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet, 
It was a museum now. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Maybe the FBI guy is in on the whole... Uh... Get the manuscript to control the world narrative or whatever is happening. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. Wasn't he supposed to meet the guy? At, didn't he say like time. noon? It looks like it's nighttime now. The bastard never showed up. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got all my shit back. Cool. Wake. Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You see your wife alive. Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello! Ah! I'm gonna kill him! Yeah. I had Killed to get him before. to Mirror Peak. Ah. Uh. It was close. <clears throat> Maybe closer than ever before. Do not like that. Zane fell for Barbara Jagger. It happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Oh, we're definitely about to get in a fight.
Oh. Flashbangs. Solid. Oh my god. Fuck me, bro. Alright, um. Fuck, I'm back here. Oh, suck my dick, game. Alright, I've been hanging on to shit too much. Let's let's go. I think that was somehow took more time than the last attempt I did. If I die to a fucking wagon cart, I swear. Die, darkness. What the hell? What the fuck, bro? It's like a whole the darkness tornado. Was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Oh god, I see. Turn off the power. We're gonna turn it off. All the lights are gonna go out.
running. Might as well let my battery power back up. Let me just start shooting explosive canisters more. There's a ton of them here. So close, bro. Alright, I need to just take my time. Take my time. Let the flashlight do the work. got through everything there. Oh, one more asshole. Oh, it worked. <sighs> How are we looking on that? We got exactly six shots left in our revolver. Involving the double barrel for those. I'm going to rely on flares a lot, I think. That helps. on out, dickhead. Let's go. You want to go? You baddies aren't so scary when you're stuck in a choke point, are you?
feel like I would go buy a headlamp in this scenario. One of those like super high powered ones where it's like somebody's wearing it, you want to smack him in the face because it blinds you immediately. Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Hello. Finally out of the mining area. There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. Oh. Darkness scoop. These guys are obnoxious. Got enough to kill one more basic, dude. We got six flashbangs, four flares, though. We might be looking to fire off some of those and just making making a dash for it. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. That's a nut job. Explosive? That looks maybe explosive. cash this way and I desperately need it oh boy oh thank god I thought I was like I do not want to go through the creepy ass cave
Time to go. There you go, enjoy that. kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Pump action shotgun. Hold down B. Hmm. Alright, well there's a whole side path over here that I'm sure has some goodies. And the main path over there. So let's wrap things up here. We will... Uh, continue along and make our way on over to the new point in the episode. I will catch you all then.